All right, it's Juneteenth, June 19th, and uh, everybody's busting their chops. The cement truck is here. They're pouring cement down this chute into this pump. That's a cement pump. You rent both of them together, and the cement is going to get pumped through this hose out here to the backyard. So that's how the cement. There's Mikey. I'm just doing hey. film footage for my kids, so they, because they're supposed to be present. Para los hijos que es mire cómo trabajan. Okay, so, so uh, these hoses, they got to make sure they don't pop. It's literally when they pop and cement is pouring out of them. Okay, so they always got to make sure those hoses aren't are secured before they start pumping the cement. Okay, this is where now that truck. I don't know how how long it took for the truck to get here. So it's very critical. Hey guys, how long? How long does it take for that cement to harden in there? I'm, I'm doing a video to show my kids, and uh, I'm just so they can see what's because they're not present here. So how long? Okay, that truck. How long do you guys got the? Once it's poured, it should be about a couple hours, two or three hours. Okay, so so okay, so about two or three hours, it'll, it'll dry. It'll take a couple, a day or two, so you can walk out of. Okay, so time wise, I guess this weather's good enough for you guys right here, where it won't dry too quick on you, huh? Right, no, this is perfect. Is there anything you guys need before I um? Turn this video off to make sure you guys got everything. Is there, you guys got your garden hose there? And everything is everything. Everything in the record. I know you guys checked everything. In there, in there, so okay. Are you the finisher? Yeah. Oh, the finisher. There they go. There they go. The finishers are critical because these are the guys got to make that thing look beautiful, and they got to make sure everything slows perfect. And uh, I'm just gonna be a fly on the wall and videotape this. This is for my kids so they can see okay. and learn about it. Because the next time I want them to be participating, they, they doesn't work where they we try to do a. Pavers, man, it came out like this, all bumpy, because we didn't have, you know, we didn't have your finished skills. And that's the next time we hire somebody, they have all these uh, stakes. They, they're always constantly checking everything, level the elevation, especially the day before uh, the, the concrete. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. So it started. They're pumping in the cement. This is uh, This is basically... This is how it goes. They pump it. One guy's controlling the hose, and the other guy's gonna stomp it, and the other guy finishes it. So it's a uh, teamwork, ultimate teamwork. They got a couple. They got a few hours to ha make this happen before this stuff starts hardening up, and they can't work with it. So I think he said about three or four hours, I believe. But uh, and, and the secret is having good music in the background. That makes the cement go easier. All right, these guys are no no joke. They're, they're kicking that kicking this cement out here. It's uh, Juneteenth. They've already got this pump. Man, moving sweet. Look at this teamwork. These guys up in the front are just grading it. Two guys grading it. This guy's the pumper. They had the pump, and so the guy with the hose. That's his pump that he's pumping. He's verifying the quality of his hose and they don't rupture and force them in all down my driveway. And those are the two big bosses over there. The pump guy and the general contractor and going over the whole plan, verifying that everything comes out perfect. This is the artist that welded the incredible steel and this thing. Say hi. You you nervous? No, he's not nervous. He, he's done this a lot of times. But... That's about me. He was fucking... Se aprenden, you know. And see, this guy's knee deep in it. This guy's the finisher, so he's he's like uh, getting all his grade uh, where he's got to slope it right where the right where that pipe is is where the wires come into the swim spot. So after he's got to make the right kind of slope to make it go down. And right now everything's level from board to board, but uh, the time is of the essence. All right, this is my favorite part. Uh, the finisher. He got his finishing pole. So, you got the one finisher over there, getting that the first leveling there by hand, and he's just picking his different dead spots and filling them in by hand. And here you got his other partner going doing the second part of the finishing. He's got his finishing pole. Look at that. It's like a work of art. Thank you.
And they all got a, there's the general contractor in blue, Mike, he's double, triple checking that everything stays level, uh, both, all directions, so that uh, uh, when they set the, uh, I think it's a 24,000 pound spa, when it's full of water, uh, that uh, nothing's going to crack and it's going to be right, but more important is that... Uh, that this whole thing is level so that when they put these motorized, electric motorized uh, lift cover for the spa, if it ain't level, uh, it's going to jam up the motors. So everything's got to, all four corners got to be perfect, you know, level within a certain tolerance. And, and the most important part is that this be level over here for the 600-pound uh, uh, patient lift that lifts up uh, the handicapped person out of a wheelchair. That's got to be level because it comes going to be elevated like four foot above so that really exaggerates if it's not level and we could be detrimental this guy this is my favorite part watching the guy cut the lines there's something about beautiful line cutting that's really impressive you know concrete line cutting with it i would mess up trying to do that he makes it look easy the concrete line now these guys are putting that shower in over here and uh, there's a clean out they found that clean out that was hidden for i don't know 25 years and they found that clean out there <laughs> they always hide clean out somewhere because they bury the dirt and you never find the clean out again yeah, start digging, yeah. my first job was santa rita jail yeah. i was an apprentice a plumber and guess what my job was every day concrete pour every day the whole just trucks and trucks and and drains being destroyed and being stepped on and oh crap never to be found again <laughs> buried in cement we're out there jackhammering trying to find those so as soon as these guys came out I knew when I heard that truck I go oh my god that fear like memory like road run out there quickly but uh, it's really nice watching uh, uh, this it just feels good like like uh, it's gonna work Look at, look at this guy cutting that. Uh, uh oh, oh this, this is what this part where I hide. Okay, video over. All right, uh, this is my favorite part. Watching these guys cut the line. He's got that tool. See those lines, and he's just going back there, and he's doing the line magic. Let me get that. Get out of here. So he's just. It's like an art skill. He's. Oh, help yourself. Hey, man, I, I pickled some cactus too. If, you, if you're brave enough to try it, it's on the in the jar, okay? It, it's it's kind of like pickled. Um, you ever had pickled asparagus or, or uh, what's that? Other, okra? Pickled okra? Oh, don't worry about it. Go ahead, step on it, man. We're gonna hold it down. We're test running it to see if it can handle the the weight load on the. So this is the art part. Is the cutting those lines to have the patience to not mess up the cement as they that's why you have the finishers that do their their craft there see how he's cutting those lines and making sure that he does it within time where it doesn't flake off and screws off the edges the shower they ran out of cement they're gonna get some more cement for the shower area back there but that's okay that gives these guys more room to do the finishing. And here's this guy getting all the right tools, changing his blades for what he's got to do with the extension pole. Thank you so much. Okay. This is the hard part. Now the hot, this hot sun is just bouncing back in their faces as they do the final finish. This has got to be the but look at that. They just keep working it. I'm sending it to my sons so they could see what they didn't do. I was kind of hoping my sons would learn this so we could do this, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, they're, they're going to do the shower thing here. This is going to be out there shower. There's a drain there and the clean out. Okay, look at that. A work of art. Can you do 20 inches? No. 
general contractor double checking all the measurements to, to dig out the uh, the base for the mighty 600 lift. And I'm going to go over here to, the, in conclusion, uh, the highlight of the evening is uh, my famous pickle cactus. God, if only people knew the secret of how to pickle cactus. Look, see this, look at this. Garlic. Yeah. <laughs>